Hey guys, it's been a while since I've made a video, so I thought I'd update y'all. I think the engine's still in the same position it was uh, the last time I made a video, but here's what's not. I've got the Camaro over here jacked up. Um, I've already taken out the radiator, condenser, fans, and stuff like that. We have a pretty good gap up there. I just finished taking off the water pump there. I'm working on the harmonic balancer. Two of the bolts came out real easy. The other one's being a pain, so still about to do that in a minute in here I'll show you all the parts I think I found I think we found where the um, coolant was leaking and that car you see right there on top there you see one of the bolts was missing there and you can actually see like if I push down here well you could whenever it was sitting upright but a little bit of coolant was just laying right there my finger is so I think that's probably where it was leaking before so that's nice the radiator was tested and it's good it's actually a fairly new looking radiator there the guy said but the radiator was good so that was probably where it was leaking right there and the engine next up is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a camshaft swap I'm gonna buy a new camshaft from a 97 engine because this one, of course, was a little older than 97. And the reason being is because the OptiSpark in this 97 is probably going to be different than the old OptiSpark. I'm not sure where the old one is. Let me grab it. You see, this one is, of course, probably a non-vented OptiSpark here. There's like a big, I don't even know what to call it. It just looks like a wheel. On the top of the new ones I've got a new Opti Spark over here that I'll show you see it looks kind of like like that right down there on the top of it which that Opti Spark requires a different camshaft because the engine that I believe is the only thing that it requires extra also a wiring harness which I've already got so I'll, so I'll just be putting a newer camshaft and lifters of course in the new engine so that then it'll be basically just like putting uh, this engine right back in just new so that's hopefully all that we have to do there I may have missed something there if you know of something that I told that isn't true please comment it so that I'll know before we do all this but according to research that should be all I have to do to, to make it a vented OptiSpark timing's the same from everything I found but that's it so far guys probably i'll update y'all within the next week or so again and hopefully uh the old engine will be out there